you guys. It is a Mary and I'm Mom. We invite you guys to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below, y'all. Today we are going to be talking about Gwyneth Paltrow. Yes, yes, yes. Gwyneth Paltrow went on a ski trip um, a few years back. It's not recent. <laughs> Let's go I cannot remember the dates, but she's in court for it now. In court she's for in what? court for it now. The person who she was in this accident with um sued sued her he actually at first the person actually is an optometrist i don't know that um you know optometrist eye doctor oh yeah, optometrist is eye doctor so um you know first of all i think it was an ear doctor but i said oh no that's a ophthalm ophthalmologist bro ophthalmologist yes so optometrist you know the eye doctor anyway he sued her first he sued her for 3.1 million yeah. And I'm like, uh, okay, are you still alive? What's going on? Anyway, he has decreased it to 300000 And this is a civil suit. It's not a criminal case. So okay. in a civil suit, the um, prosecutor can kind of push to have um, the defendant. Right. Um, they can push for the defendant to testify. Okay. You know, like in the criminal suits, like Tory Lanez and Megan, right? Yeah. Um, that was a criminal case. So in that case, in a criminal suit, the um, the defendants can choose not to testify. Right. But not in a civil suit. Okay. Right. So when Paltrow had no choice but to go onto the witness stand, what was very funny to me, and I'm not going to go to to the whole thing, but I don't know anything about skiing. I have <laughs> wanted to go skiing, Same. but I want to be on the baby section with all the little children that are five and below, because I need it to go like this. <laughs> <coughs> I don't need the snow to push me, so I don't want that, no hills. I'm sure it's so fun to go down that hill and you speed it through. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of being on like a motorcycle. So it was very interesting. I got to learn about skiing today, right? Um, That's all you were watching this morning. Yeah, I, I like, got to learn about skiing. So there are three different areas. You know, like the same thing with swimming, right? Yeah. You have different areas. You're a beginner, you're an intermediate, whatever. She is an intermediate. So she goes on to, hold on a second. She goes on to a blue. Like the blue people who, who, who ski on the blue side, and those of you who are ski people, please do not laugh. <laughs> I'm just, from what I'm getting from this whole thing, right? The people who are green are the people who are beginners. But even the green people, there are different levels, okay? You have, the green people can have like, um, they, they can be like baby green or older green, something like that. Anyway, they, they have levels. I, I, maybe I'll get to it. Uh, I, I saw it somewhere. Anyway, however, the blue, and she's a blue person, she is in the intermediate, right? right? And then you have the Black Diamond, which I have actually heard of the Black Diamond because I have watched some of the Winter Olympics. Yeah. So I have heard of Black Diamond. And I know that's like the very dangerous one. Yeah. You know, the one that people are, you know, taking risks and all this stuff. Anyhow, when she was on this blue part, right, this guy, I guess, hit her because you know, first when he brought this lawsuit, I thought that she had hit him. Oh, so who and that she, Gwyneth Paltrow, when, before, before this case started, I actually thought that Gwyneth had actually hit this guy, and it was kind of like a hit and run. She hit him, and she kept on skiing down the slope. <laughs> and did not bother to check if he was alive or gone. That's, that's what I thought from the news. How I thought that, I don't know. But she was on the stand yesterday, uh, the other day, and um, the, the, the prosecuting attorney, I felt, was kind of like, like she was just like stargazed, like with a puncher. Are you okay? Oh my she god, okay. that one was too funny. Oh, you were going to be of when it's Paltrow with her blood hair going and all you see Whee! is probably like a light blue outfit going down the blue hill. I don't think, no, it's the I just got a blue visual of her hitting somebody and they kept on going and like they're and not even say, care to uh -uh, see they're alive. I don't want her paparazzi to get me. <laughs> and how they found her was the blood hair. That's how they found her though. But It's yeah, not I don't funny, know, obviously, I don't but I just got a visual. you can have your hair out. Maybe it's one of those if you have to have everything I, covered. I don't know. 
right? No, I think they and have like, like, like Kardashian. I saw them once have their hair out. I don't really oh, want to go they skinny. They were doing probably fashion. I'm talking about real ski people, not to go take photos. Well, they do ski. They've been skiing every year since the, what, the, before their I dad know died. That, but I'm talking about people who are actually doing skiing to go ski. For she was sport. there with her. She was she was actually there with her boyfriend, and his children and her children. And it okay. was so cute. Both of them have like an 11 year old and a nine year old that particular day. But anyway, I I I, I digress. So anyhow, um, now the attorney asked her. She says. Um, are there any rules, as an intermediate person, a blue person, are there any rules that you should be aware of, right? So they have rules in the whole thing, right? If you're coming downhill, okay, the person in front of you has the right of way. Okay. It's kind of like if you're driving, right? Yeah. But, if, you know, like if you're driving and you hit a car, you're always on the wrong, right? Yeah. However, over there, if you're skiing, the person in front of you has the right of way. I guess it's the same thing with like a car. Because if you hit the person, right? Yeah. Anyhow, so this is so the, the woman asked her that, the attorney, who was female. And then she says, um, okay, so doesn't the rule say that like if you collide with someone, right, you have to give that person your information? And I was thinking that okay. if you are like a big star, do you give the person your information or you let your handlers do that? I don't think you let your handlers do, do that. Do that, right? Because you're not going to get involved that much with that, right? No. You, you might send the person flowers you later. Send your attorney. Yeah, to but do you, that. yeah. So anyhow, she. So the woman asked her, the lawyer, the attorney asked her, um, okay, so isn't it common? And then she says, okay, if you're in a collision, you need to give your information, right? My pastor says. Yeah, but since I was hit, I thought that the ski instructor, you know, will kind of deal with that because apparently she was hit. The guy hit her. So that's oh. what I found out today. All of a sudden, I thought she hit the guy. The guy actually hit her. So how are you filing a civil suit when you're the one who hit someone? That would make well, sense. Well, yeah. So then, the, then she asked her, she says, well, don't you think that there's a rule of common decency? I don't think there's a rule of common decency, certainly not in America. The rule of common decency, no, no. I mean, it's not going to be no rule of common decency. If I think, you know, I'm going to do whatever the rule says. I'm not going to go beyond that. Yeah. I'm going to do what the written rule says. I'm not going to go beyond that. Yeah. No, I'm not going to do that. And I don't think Americans do, do stuff like that. And since I'll be a very all this time, I, I, I also will not do that. Also. I don't think there's any rule of common decency to stop and give you my name and I am a big star. Yeah. Right? You don't want to give them your name because you don't want people to sue you. You don't want people to do what this man is doing. He hit her, but she needs to pay for him. So I'm, I'm thinking now, right? So now I'm like, well, that doesn't sound right. And so I feel like that's why she didn't leave her name on yeah. her own. Yeah. Because he's doing what she will expect a lot of people to do knowing that when a paltrow i hit with a paltrow and also maybe she didn't want to stay there because then maybe he'll be asking for for photographs yeah and she doesn't want to do that either because she is on a family trip so anyhow she said that the, the ski instructor said that he will ensure that this person has the information right and so she asked her well were you aware um you know were you were you there or whatever? She said, no, I wasn't there when the ski instructor gave the information. He told me he was going to do it. I was aware that he did it. But no, I wasn't there to physically see him give my information to this guy. So then um, she, he, she says, um, yeah, she says, yeah, no, I, I, I wasn't there. And then she asked, she asked her, how old are her children? And she said 11 and 9. Oh, and then she says, oh, okay, uh, you were there with your kids and, and your, your boyfriend's kids, who is now your husband, right? And she said, yes. And, and how uh, his kids' age are the same as your kids' age, right? 11 and 9. This is the prosecuting attorney who is representing this optometrist. I did not understand what the ages had to do, the age of the boyfriend, now the husband's children, have to do with this case. Only if maybe the attorney is trying to say, well, these kids were 11 and 9. You did not have to rush because the kids were apparently were down the hill. 
So oh. maybe the attorney was trying to say you didn't have to rush to them because they're 11 and 9. They're not like little babies. Like well, two, is that three. what she did? Yeah, she went down the hill. No, what I'm saying is that why the prosecuting thing, prosecuting lady asked. No, she doesn't say oh. why she's asking. She oh. just pointed. I, I think this woman is like stargazing when she's looking at the culture. That's what I think. And then she I said, "Watch her for a long time." <laughs> This is my only time. Yeah. I wouldn't be shocked if she ran into the hole just to get her autograph. Yeah. And then she Tell says, the slide. Yeah. And then she says, um, yeah. So when the father said, yeah, you know, it's like the Brady Bunch. Yes, they are all 11 and 9. These kids are 11 and 9, like mine were 11 and 9. And then she, she says, oh, oh, okay. And then she says, um, she says, after that, I guess the children the next day went at the next day, Gwyneth went to the ski place. Yeah. She went skiing the next day, right? She had a massage done because she was hurt, because the guy hit her. But she went skiing the next day, and she took the, her children to go have some skiing lessons. So the attorney starts asking her, what for those skiing lessons? What the house did you do? I don't know. She said, they're expensive. Very expensive, aren't they? <laughs> How much were they? We saw it was like 8,900 or something. Will you say that was it? She says, I will not know until I look, but yes, it was an expensive fee. And, and, and then she says to, um, yeah, oh, and then she says, oh, so when you were skiing the next day, the optometrist was at home. So Gwendolyn was like, I, mean, I don't know. Like, but well, what does that have to do? I think she's trying to say, oh, while you were skiing and relaxing and enjoying yourself, you didn't get hurt that much when he hit you, right? You were really, he was at home, uh, um, probably in bed. Well, who knows that? Well, uh, he could have been at a bar. Well, I mean, he said he's, a, he's in bed, I guess. I guess maybe people who saw him in proof? bed. Who has the bed? Where's I that don't video know. evidence? This man, I, I think this man saw her, her information and was like, oh, oh no, okay. Because that's why he first did the 3.1 million. Now he's doing the 300,000 instead. He okay, we got people calling him on his stuff, and I feel like, but but at the same time, this is what I think. I think when it, you really should have settled this out of court. You know what I'm saying? That's why I feel. Well, why would I settle anything out of court? I am when the it, victim. Yeah, I know, but sometimes I know I would take him to court. I don't stuff, know. So I'm going to let the people uh, decide because you hit me and you're suing me for what? I'm not settling nothing out of court because I didn't do nothing wrong. Maybe she was upset because he finna. first came for the 3.1 million. But when is, I mean, you have the money, just, I don't know, no. the $300,000 and Listen, go about your life, man. Rich, pe rich people stay rich by now spending their money all over the place. I'm oh, not going to go get lawsuit. The, exactly. I, can you imagine? They will be poor if they went for every lawsuit and gave money just settled. You are a thieving purse type of person. And you want to sue me for $3.1 million where you're the, you're the raggedy person who went and hit me. And then you're going to drag me to court for $3.1 because now you know who I am. I'm taking you to court. And if I can, I'm putting you in jail for yeah. emotional distress. Because this has been emotionally taxing on yeah. me. So, and like, who does that? That's so uncivilized. The optometrist. It's kind anyway, of like people who will go and throw themselves in front of a car or something just so that they can get money or yeah. something. Someone you know. did that to me one time. They <sighs> rode their bicycle right behind me. To They were doing that to a lot of um, the people. And I think the, the parents were sending their children to do this stuff. And so my car was in park. I start the car. I see the person driving. And I, I just got out of the car. I said, that game that you're playing, one day you're really going to get hurt, okay? And the person is going to drive off. Move yourself to the sidewalk. I'm not going anywhere till you remove yourself. But I'm going to the pole pole to have you removed. You're not going to be behind my car. I have two children. Like foolishness. But the anyway, parents were trying to get some laughing. money. Yeah, they, they were doing that to a lot of people. Anyway, the, she starts asking me, she says, oh, um, the fee for your, your children's it was not only the fee, but it was also the tip, right? <laughs> Are you a big tipper? I'm sure you're a big tipper. This is the prosecuting attorney. I don't know if that woman has been sipping <laughs> some stuff. Maybe she probably that had a nice cup of white wine that morning. I don't know what this woman was smoking. And then she's like, and then she says, at one point they were talking about something the kids, one her daughter is called Apple, then her son is called Moses. And then she says, oh my God, can you believe three days have passed? I can't believe it. 
This is the prosecuting attorney during getting testimony from the witness. Okay. And then she asked her, are you a, a, are you a risk taker? Like when you're skiing, do you take a lot of risk? And when it was like, no, I'm not a risk taker like that. She said, I don't recall that I am a risk taker. And then she says, um, don't you do like risky behavior, especially when your children are there? Because in the deposition, someone said, especially when her kids are there, she wasn't doing any risk taking things. And so when the pro was just like, I mean, I'm just not a risk taker, whether kids are there or not. Like, li listen, my know kids know who I am, whether I am out or here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My ethics don't change. I'm not going to be living some vagabond life out there, and then when I come home, I'm preaching something else. Right. You know what I'm saying? My ethics are at home the same way they're out there in the streets. Yeah. You know, you're not going to, you, uh, you know. Anyway, she continued in this vein. And so the, <laughs> about the risky behavior, I don't even know, you know, maybe she'll ask her, the attorney should have said, you know, what let her, or, or maybe well, she'll ask her, what, what do you mean by risky behavior? Am I drinking while I'm on the slopes? Like, what does this risky behavior mean? I think that her, when it's attorney, got a little annoyed and was like, your honor, can we approach the bench? I was like, oh, thank God. Anyway, this later on this week, we will hear from the ski instructors. Oh, the case isn't over. No, it's not. Then we will hear from the from the ski instructors, and then then we'll really see what's going on. Is when it's really on the right, or was this man was on the wrong? Listen, I mean, it's pretty if obvious. I was a star, I got millions of dollars. I'm just gonna pay it off like Michael Jackson did. Don't say that because one day you will be, and they're gonna see this and be like, "Well, you said you will pay me off." So Ooh, no, one day I'm gonna be a star. What? What? Yo, tell me something, girl. All right, but yeah, I will. I don't even have the energy or the brain cells to go sit I myself know. in trial. I'm a fighter, and I will definitely be taking you to court. So don't try it. Do not try it. You're gonna sue me. Like You're the just young. the audacity. I don't the know audacity old, of it is ridiculous. Then at one point she says, "Oh, my kids, my kids are your age." She tells Gwyneth, and then she says, "Then she says, oh no, no, no. I mean, I mean they're they're your kids' age. Oh my God, I'm not that old." This is the prosecuting attorney. I'm telling you, if I was the plaintiff, I would just say, you know, Your Honor, I'm fighting <laughs> this attorney right here. We will go to another trial because this is some fool. Like, am I in the twilight zone? I, I, I better, I, I so better represent myself because I don't know what I think. This woman, it's like rose-colored glasses. Take them off. <laughs> I thought that she was just trying to like get one to, you know, butter her up so that she can nail it to her. But I didn't see any nail that she gave to her. I was just like, she would just put in butter on her toes too. Do you? Would you like some tea with this as well? Oh no! I oh, she, what do you mind having a play date with my kids? For a play date, exactly with her kids. As Since they're the same age. I'm not that old. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Me, if I if it was me, I would just say, look, obviously I've gotten a shiesty lawyer who can't even get, can't even see straight. Uh, I'm gonna throw this out, Gwyneth. I'm sorry, I was being shiesty trying to sue you. you I mean, but if you want to do a deal on the side, then hey. But yeah. I'm actually gonna cancel this thing because yeah. I don't I mean, know what the hell she smoked this morning. But I, this looks like I'm finna fail. <laughs> like I'm, I'm checking myself out of this. I mean, this make no sense. I'll you know be in the back, like now. I wonder, was he, was it even the the, the plaintiff? that decreased the amount or was it this attorney who is stargazing it probably you know what i'm saying probably. and now he has done to three hundred thousand. now now i decreased it because you told me off of your advice to decrease it to three hundred thousand, only to now see that you're a fan girl in this woman you are super okay. fan super super fan and i should have stayed with my three four one bill here <laughs> crazy but it's mary and uh hey, y'all to like share subscribe Comment down below. What do you think of this case? What do you think of that attorney? Oh my goodness, it was a hot mess. Hot yes, mess. no. Bye bye.